I think what happened in, in Charleston um, is just something that is really hard to comprehend. And right now we're just trying to get our minds and our hearts around it. And the main thing is that our prayers goes out uh, to uh, the wife of Senator Pinckney and to the family of all those who lost their lives in that tragedy. It was a tragic event specifically as it relates to where it happened for a gunman to come into the holiness of a sanctuary and then um, take away uh, innocent lives, specifically of people as they prayed. So it was a tragic event. Um, God is not through. We're hoping and praying that healing will come as a result of this. I think that only time will heal uh, some of the hurt, and some of the concerns that we are facing in society today. Um, and the more we openly dialogue uh, among races, among various cultures, um, I think that we will see a sense of, of understanding and healing take place. So I think that what we have to do is to continue to dialogue and to be open and embrace each other and to accept each other's diversity and differences.